Hello everyone and welcome to this video on how to create a project in order to query the data from the YouTube Data API and the YouTube Analytics API. Now this is the first step in order for you to query the data using the Power BI desktop. Uh, I built a custom connector so you can get the data from YouTube into Power BI desktop. But before we actually get into that video, we need to create this project inside the developer experience that Google has. So first thing that you need is a Google account so you can access or create this project. Once you have that Google account, go to console.developers.google.com. Link is going to be in the description. And once you actually go to that website or the link, uh, you're going to notice that it's going to be just like the screen right now. It's just going to be completely blank. So go ahead and click on enable API. And I see now a list or basically just a website or a link or a page with all the options that I have for the APIs. I want to get the YouTube related APIs. And I see that I have three. I don't really need the YouTube reporting API. I'm just going to query the YouTube data API and the YouTube analytics API. So just hit on either one. I'm going to click on the YouTube data API first. And I'm going to get this warning. It says that a project is needed to enable APIs. So I'm just going to click here where it says select project. I'm going to create a project right here. Craig, create. Uh, you can name this however you like. I'm just going to keep the default. Just hit create. It's going to pin for a spin for a few seconds. And then you're gonna, it's going to take you back to the page where you were supposed to enable the API. And now you're going to be able to enable it. If you tried this before creating the project, it's just not going to let you. So I'm going to enable this YouTube data API. I'm going to go back and go to the YouTube analytics API and enable that one now. There we go. So I'm going to hit on, hit on dashboards and I'm going to see that I've just added the YouTube analytics and the YouTube data API to my dashboard. So they have been enabled. Uh, but I don't have any type of credentials associated with either one of them. So I can click on one of them and I can see that the warning is to use this API, you may need credentials. Click credentials to get started. You can click here on create credentials, but that will create the credentials specifically for this API. I want to create a global set of credentials. So I'm going to go to credentials to my left. I'm going to click here where it says create credentials, all out client ID. And I'm going to create a consent screen or consent, basically configure consent or consent screen right here. It's going to have my email address here. I'm going to input my name or just what I want people to see when you actually get this screen. So you can allow this uh, program to get the data from the API. And this is all it needs, the product name shown to users. Click on save. And now it's gonna request you for the type of application that is gonna be querying this API. In our case, it's gonna be a web application. Uh, you can keep this name if you want, or you can rename this. Uh, so authorized JavaScript origins, you can leave this one blank, but this one that we have here, authorized redirect URIs, you're going to have to use this link, which is a specific link that the Power BI team or the Power Query team has created, or they actually have, if we want to use Power BI desktop to get the data from, from any type of APIs. So hit them, click create here. Again, this URL, the OAuth is going to be in the description, so you can use it. And once you actually hit create, you're going to be prompted with this, which is the OAuth client. So we're going to have the client ID, and we're also going to have the client secret. If I wanted to go back and actually see this, I can go to credentials, click on this one, and I will be seeing the client ID and the client secret right here. And keep those in mind because we're going to be using them 
in a later video. Thank you.